So I've run across uh, a guy called Kyle who's wearing Tully Truck and Co's jumper, and, and he's he's over there. We're wearing the, the cool Carlton cap, is that right? <laughs> That's right. The ugly looking one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's Carlton support. Who do you follow? Yeah, I'm not saying. No, nah, all right, okay. Anyway. Kyle, how are you, mate? Yeah, good, mate. Sorry. Good, good, good. So we're here at uh, at uh, at Chuka, the uh, S uh, the S show, the annual event, and uh, you brought along uh, your truck. Yeah, brought the old and that, bucket over. Yeah. And that is as we turn around, and I'll keep the phone close to you so uh, I can pick up your voice. We are looking at what? It's a 87 W900. How long have you had it, mate? Uh, I've had it a bit over three years. Okay. So I got it from a uh, bloke just out of Shep that had it there for nearly a little bit over 20 years. It sat in the paddock, pretty much. Oh, really? And, and I got it, and as you can see, it's still in its original clothes and fairly Oh, no, original, I didn't know that. You're telling me that now. But, yeah, it's well, all... So, uh, for sitting in a paddock for 20-odd years, yeah, it's it in pretty good nick. Well, it, it was not it wasn't. It had a fair bit of rust in the firewall, and the floors were rotting out in it, and... Mechanically, it had a, a fair bit wrong with it, so yeah. I've spent a fair bit of money on the mechanical side of things, but it was all there. That was the best part, you know. I didn't have to go chasing up too much stuff, which was pretty handy. Righto, so it's a, it's a working truck? No, nah, it's just a club rego truck. I just, yeah, I don't do much. Oh, I see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I just cruise around and have a bit of fun, do the truck shows. So and... Walk down and we'll get a bit closer, so walk down here with me. So, um... Hello, we've... Uh... Uh, we got we got bubs in the in the show as well. And we can't keep her happy, as you can tell. Yeah. Hang on, I'm just gonna speak to the man. Two seconds. I'm That's all right. You know, that, the best laid plans are my cement. So, um, all right, well, you're only a young bloke. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Uh, like... You obviously work hard, mate. Cause... No, I had a couple of old cars. I got lucky. I brought cars when they weren't like old Holdens when they weren't worth a lot of money and fixed them up because me trades actually uh, automotive painter. So I sort of fixed up a few old Holdens and cleaned them up for not much money and. Anyway, so yeah, you're not a truckie by trade? Yeah, I work for an excavation company, so yeah. always driven trucks. My old man was an interstate truck driver, so grew up around trucks my whole life. Yep. And Dad drove this truck when I was a kid, so... so Dad, oh, okay, so it's got family history. So, yeah, so Dad drove for Fred's for a good little stint there. and Okay, now that's something else you told me, it's an old Fred's truck. Yeah, so right. he, he, he drove... Oh, we'll, walk, we'll walk down this way. He drove, he drove this Because we'll have a look at the trailer on the way through. Back in the early 90s. And, yeah, um, oh, okay, I see the Fred's uh, name yeah, is still there. Yeah, you can still uh, see all still the on it. So you can tell a few stories, that's for sure. It's been around, so... Um, it's had quite a few twisted individuals operating it. So. <laughs> but anyway, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, unlike a lot of them, it's uh, still fairly original. It's still on torsion bar, three fives and forties in the rear still. Yep. Still 15 direct. Um, but it's had a repower. It's got an N14 select plus in it now. So yep. Which makes it, makes it a little bit, you know, a little bit more reliable, I suppose. But not the mechanicals aren't that good, they're, they're a good thing, but... Yeah, so, so you know, she's... Uh, Sorry, she is. It doesn't have a genuine bunk on it, which is I've just just uh, acquired one, which is good. So it'll end up with the original old Kenworth bubble top low line box pack on it. Right, nice. Um, but yeah, like it's one of them things. It's pretty original, and it is what it is, I suppose. Like it's no show. Piece, but mate, but, it's history, isn't it? Well, it's taken 36 years to get like that, hasn't it? So it's sort of it'd be a shame to cover it up. <laughs> and she runs well. Yeah, it runs good. Yeah, it's a really good mechanical truck. Like you could work it, to be honest with you. Right. Uh, okay. I, d I don't know if I asked, but what's under the bonnet? Uh, N14 Select Plus. Yep. It's set at 500 though, so um, still direct 15 speed. And okay. It's got the '77 Freighter fridge van on it. Yep. Which was originally Griffo. This was his original trailer. So. Okay. So yeah, that's what I was just going to ask about. That's why we're walking this way. Um, tell us more about the trailer. Yeah, I've only just picked it up actually. So I only got it a few weeks ago. So I've done stuff all to it besides paint the spiders green. That's about it. So what what era? Is same era. '77. This is so it's ten years ten years older than the truck. Yep. The truck's an '87. Um, yeah, no, it's a pretty original old van, to be honest with you. Used to just do the milk milk run for perfection milk. And oh, so yeah, it's insulated, I presume? Yeah, yeah, well, that's the plan. I'm going to build a motorhome out of it. So of course you are. Do, like, the 48-volt dry cell lithium battery setup and all that, all that jazz in the front. And 
put a kitchen and bedroom and all the fruit in there. Yeah, well, mate, you've got, you got all the room in the world to do mm, it to something go, that size. Go on tour, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why the, not? The truck's there, so... You, you realise you're only a young bloke and you, you're going to have to wait uh, 40 years to do that. Well, I don't want to... Unless be, you win a lot, eh? Well, I don't want to be worn out like me, like me parents and all, me, all their friends and do the things when they're old and worn out. I'll try and enjoy life a bit now. Mate, know? credit to you. Do it, hard, so. do, it, do it while you can. That's it. Nah, it's, so. uh, life, life is too short. Is too I've short. spoken to a couple of blokes here today that... Unfortunately, uh, really we, uh, brings that home. We re we reevaluate that situation when someone dies and it's all too late, you know. So absolutely, Cole, beautiful truck, mate. Yeah, beautiful. Bit of history. Thank thanks. you for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks and uh, thanks for the uh, stone and wood, by the way. Yeah, it's all good. As Enjoy. an aside, good on you, mate. Men. Cheers. What's that sound? Who do you who do you barrack for? The blues. The blues. Do we say go blues? You, you, you say it. Go go blues. Oh, we'll get up close so we can hear that. Go blues. No, I meant the horn. Oh. Is that your truck? <laughs> Very cool. <laughs>